Expert gave Meghan a painful slap for her evil reaction to an accident at a royal event. Meghan Markle attended Trooping the Colour in 2018 shortly after marrying Prince Harry, when a snap of her smirking supposedly showed her reaction to a field marshal falling off his horse. A body language expert has debunked Meghan Markle's supposedly evil reaction to an accident at a royal event, proving that the narrative was made up. During the 2018 Trooping the Colour event, Field Marshal Lord Guthrie, who was then 79 years old, fell off his horse. The ceremony marked one of Meghan's first official royal events, having married her husband Prince Harry in a lavish Windsor ceremony only the month beforehand. After the incident, a picture was published that was reported to show the differences in reaction between Kate Middleton and her new sister-in-law. The image appeared to paint Meghan in a bad light, as she could be seen to smirk while Kate appeared concerned. The body language expert then proceeded to show viewers footage of what had actually provoked Meghan's smirk and Kate's supposed concern. In the clip, the royal family can be witnessed standing on the Buckingham Palace balcony, taking in the scene in front of them, with Kate coughing while Meghan chats to Harry. Recently, Piers Morgan loses sleep over Meghan and Harry's NAACP award appearance. There's no shortage of how much criticism and public bashing Meghan Markle has faced. Every time that the Duchess of Sussex ends up in a headline, it is predominantly negative. She has suffered condemnation from tabloids and severe trolling from the general public, so much so that she left social media and explained to Vanity Fair her reasoning, for my own self-preservation, I have not been on social media for a very long time. Above all else, the Duchess has arguably faced the most intense scrutiny from her former friend, Piers Morgan. Behind every step or move Meghan makes, Morgan isn't far behind, ready to attack and rant on social media about it. Morgan has offered his own reasoning for his contention towards Meghan, as he explained on The Late Late Show, he had introduced Meghan to Prince Harry and, the next night they had a solo dinner and that was the last I ever heard from Meghan Markle. I never heard from her again, Meghan Markle ghosted me. There are truly no bounds to the onslaught of negative comments that Morgan has made towards Meghan. He especially has a lot to say whenever she seems to have a happy moment or occasion. Her acceptance of the NAACP President's Award was no exception. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle want to be royals who work a regular job. The couple made their plans clear when they announced their decision to transition out of their roles as working royals. This isn't something members of the British royal family typically just do, and when outlets like Us Weekly began reporting that Harry and Meghan didn't have Queen Elizabeth's permission to make that announcement, the plot certainly thickened. Understandably so, the announcement led to several questions, why were they stepping back from the royal family? Would they still have to abide by the royal rules? How will they make money? As far as that last question goes, some precedent has been set by members of royal families across Europe who chose to forge their own careers. In fact, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle need to look no further than the prince's cousins, Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, for examples on how to balance a career while still technically being a royal. Though, there are definitely examples beyond these two women. The following royals are out there working regular jobs.